Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Now I tell you what, when it comes to lures, I think over the last three to four years, you keep saying things can't get any better. There's some of the product that comes out of Japan, you just go, wow, it can't get any better. It just got better. Adam? Jackson? Yeah, yes. it doesn't sound like a Japanese no, name. I've got no it's idea Jack why. It's, it's uh, maybe Japanese. they knew Michael Jackson or something maybe. like that. Maybe. Who knows? But, but I tell you what, we're about to show the people at home some fantastic lures. That's Have a right. look at this. The reason what, what makes these lures so great is they're different. They're very different to stuff we've seen yep. um, of late. Plus, it's not every day a Japanese lure manufacturer make a range of lures specifically designed for the Australian market. So this is really exciting. Um, you may have heard some of these names before, but all the colours are very, very new. I'm going to start off with a little brim and trout, you know, which they call a Kamachi. Now this, it, I know it's very hard to see. I'm not even going to try really, but have a look at the photos on the screen. Um, and even oh, the photos don't do it justice. They don't. I've, I've got that little red one in my hand right now. And the bronze back, uh, the white eye, the big bug eye, like yeah. that. Uh, They're you amazing. can't pick it up on TV, now, I'm sorry, but that is sensational. That is, the, the detail in it, the smoothness, yep. that is unbelievable. Every single one of these lures is hand-painted. Yep. This little Camacho I've caught more trout on than any minnow. I love it. Yep. I've seen brim, loads of brim taken on them, but really it's one of my favourite trout lures. There's a whole new colour range of about six or eight colours or something which are specifically designed for our trout in our waterways. Now this is a bit of a joint project between Brett Wilson and Tucker World and the boys at Jackson. And what blew us away is not only did they take our input, they did their own research to find these colours and make sure they're going to work for our conditions. So that's a little beauty for brim and trout. Speaking of brim and trout, the next one we're looking is called a T-pivot, which is a little surface walker. Very, very, very unique pattern. Yeah. It almost looks like it's it was a bit of a mistake out of the mould. It's that has been left in the sun a bit. It has. It looks like it's been warped. I've caught more bass mm. on this surface lure than any other surface lure. Yeah, there you go. It's very small. It's brilliant for brim. It's got a really, really, really tight action, so you can keep the lure walking in the strike zone for longer. So you leave a little bit of a dip in your line and work you do, the rod tip? All on the rod tip. They are very easy to walk, which yep. I know can be a bit of a pain when it comes to surface walking lures. You can almost flat wind these and they'll still walk. Yeah, right. Yeah. They, are, they are that good. So again, brim and trout, bass, yeah. um, a, a really nice little surface walker. Again, in a range of colours specifically designed for our market, which is a big deal. Four pound line? Oh, depending. Bass, I'd up it a little bit. 10, even 12, even 14 pounds. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. If you start throwing these little bad boys into sticks, mm. um, a bass will sort you out pretty quick. Yep. But yeah. for trout and brim, yeah, four pound, three pound. Yeah. When you use surface oils in particular, it pays to up the poundage yep. a little bit and run a really short leader. Yep. You find you get, because your leader wants to sink, you can actually pull the nose of the lure down. So Yeah, yeah good point. You want to fish short leaders oh. and quite heavy because you don't want mm. too much mm. sway from the line. This is great little lure. This little lure is called a cabula. Mm. This a, th a cabula. Cabula. This is going to be pretty big up your neck of the woods, I think, Charlie. That, yeah, that looks great. As a little shallow diving yellow belly lure. Mm. A big Australian bass Even lure. Redfin. Redfin, that's yeah. right. When it, you know, get those times of year when it gets quite warm and those yellows and the reddies push yeah. up in the shallows, it's somewhere like Lake Eildon. This has got to a what, beautiful to what profile. Depth would that dive to do you think? Very shallow. This would be yeah, a okay. one, one point two with really light lines. You may pull a metre and a half out of them. Yeah. But they're very shallow. They're a really square wide bib. They yeah. do. And yeah. and this is interesting. The the bib action the bib on these gives it an action which is designed to drive hooks into fish quickly. Yeah. It gives it a very unique, specific action. Yeah. It's like a little crankbait, so you just slow roll that over the flats or bring it off a drop off and yeah. wait for those yellows and perch to come up and nail it. But everything about that lure is designed for hook yeah. penetration. And talking about driving hooks in, we actually stuck a few in their fingers. Yeah, they're sharp, yeah. believe me. Yeah. Trelly found out the hard yeah. way. Do you know what hooks they're running on? Uh, they're I don't actually. good hooks. I don't, but they're very, very sharp. Yeah. Um, this is one of my favourites. Yeah, this, this yeah, is one yeah. of my favourites. Cicada surface lures have become absolutely massive yep. in the last few years from everything, estuary perch, bass, yellow belly, cod, yep. you name it. Anything that eats anything off the surface will eat this lure. 
Typically with a cicada lure, it's a slow wind and it does its thing. Mm. Not this lure, okay? You try and drag that along the top and it's literally gonna do that. It's gonna drag, it's not designed for that. Those little legs, it's got soft plastic legs on it. You cast that into your strike zone and shake your rod tip. If you've ever seen a cicada hit the water, yep. it panics yes. and it practically swims around in a tight circle. Mm. You can get this lure to do exactly the same thing. So cast, wind into your strike zone and shake the rod tip. Bang. Th those little legs, those little legs start vibrating and you get those little ripples that come off yep. the side exactly like a cicada. And if once you've given that a shake for 30 seconds, yep. wind it a couple of foot to your next strike zone and shake away again. This is the classic that I said yeah. before. If you think Japan can't get any better. Exactly. That is mm. so lifelike. Yep. And exactly. in amongst those legs, there's a treble that's hidden. That's right. Like yeah. That is just amazing. That's it just right. looks like one of the legs wobbling there, mm. and you imagine those legs shaking in the water. That's right. That is sensational. You know, they yeah, are it phenomenal. Make sound, but that's right. We're probably working on that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, sure, yeah, I'm sure that's next. I need to leave myself somewhere to improve. <laughs> yeah. Um, Trelly, this is another one that would be right up your alley. Actually, yes, I like that. They, um, they had this lure in their range as a uh, American bass, largemouth bass lure. Yeah. We saw it and said, we need that for What's our cod and yellow belly. This is called a blank shot. Blank shot. As you can see, a very, very big bib um, designed for getting down to depth quickly. Yep. What depth do you reckon? Deep. Yep. Light lines you could probably get. I think you're getting about, about five to six metres. Exactly. Out. Wow. So yeah. Light, light lines you can cast or troll. Yep. Yep. Um, probably in its body profile, probably designed more for a cast. Yeah. But it gets yeah. down quickly. Yeah. Beauty, what I like about it is you'll get in our lake systems, you'll get fish that'll actually sit at, say, three metres on a drop off. Yeah. So a lot of the lures, or four metres on a drop off. So a lot of the lures that you work al along the, the bank, they don't sort of follow the drop off down. Yeah. So you're fishing off a drop off, that'll probably follow it down. Yep. Yep. Or you're fishing up to a drop off, it'll hit. <coughs> Yeah, you know, four or five metres, yep. and come up through those fish that are just sitting down that little bit lower. So, it's, oh, it's a good. Problem. And like all good hard bodies for cod, yellow belly, it hits a stump. You relax your line or point yep. the rod tip at it, and it yep. floats backwards out of the out of the snag, yep. and then continues to drag down as exactly. you as you yeah. apply pressure again. So, mm. that's going to be huge. Very impressed with the Japanese with this lure. They did their own research on what works best for our native fish. Yeah, and they actually come up with these colours and they're spot on. Black, purple and a nice bright fluorescent mm. yellow. They're the only three colours in the range, um, but that'll grow, I guarantee and, it. And the hardware tends to suit what we're actually chasing because we had a guy in the shop today and he goes, why don't they spend another dollar and put some decent hooks on these yeah, things? Exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly. trust me, these and, hooks and are ready to go. Are, and they've got the hooks, the yeah. hooks are there. You don't yeah, exactly. Yeah. And for everyone travelling up north, oh, I've, got a little, yeah. I've got a little pilchard style one here which I guess, but look uh, at the colour range on the screen. Exactly, there for the people and at these have got Zara written all Absolutely. over them. There's yeah. your mm. typical silver and green. There's your gold and gold and red. Red head. It works no matter where you go. I Barra, like the plain Pelagics. white. Plain the white. Red. red mm. I'm glad you mentioned plain white because that is a barra sleeper. You go up north yeah. and they all love the, using white lures and they don't tell you. Yeah. Yeah. White is huge. Yeah. I would even use that at Eildon because we have been getting yeah. through a number of um, uh, lures that length yep. yeah. for guys catching big, because you know, trout, you know, some of those big trout. Exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, yeah. I'd even try the Eildon. Exactly. Yeah. And you'll get a reaction bite out of a trout. Uh, so you put a you put a big hard body in front of them. They yeah. get all territorial. They're not trying to eat it. They're trying to get it yeah. out of their territory. Yeah, and that's when yeah. the hooks come into play, and off you go. Yeah. very loud rattles. Great for murky, dirty water, which is accustomed to the guys up north. These are going to be huge. Troll that around for a salmon or a kingfish in the bay down here. Yeah, and you're every chance. A lot of, a lot of different places you can take. Exactly it. universal. Uh, again, aimed at the barra, but use it anywhere in the country. 120 mil long. These are a floating model, which you find most of your barra lures are, just to keep them away from the sticks. Yep. Um, just another beautiful hard body on the market. I yeah. think these are going to be big. Yeah. The range will keep growing um, as we play around with them more. These are going to be huge. Mm. Lovely looking ones. Uh, remember the name Jackson. It sounds non Japanese, but it is the latest and greatest out of And Japan. that's not the only lures. I could only no, bring no, there's six more. because we yeah. could spend a whole show just talking about all these new lures and new, new colours. Mm. There's more mm. surface lures, there's poppers, there's the whole kitten and yeah, we've got the opportunity to develop new colours with these guys. Exactly. They want to work Easy. with us. Yeah. And, and it sounds bad on, you know, I guess the Japanese behalf, but. 
they're looking at a worldwide market. Yeah. Not yeah. our tiny little, you know, yeah. nothing percent of what their worldwide market is. Yeah. Jackson want to work with us in Australia, hence why we've got all these beautiful yeah. colours suited to our market. Yeah. Um, no, it's not only Lewis, boys. I'm sorry to keep going on about Jackson, but rods. rods. And they are yes. beautiful. The Jackson rods. rods, if you haven't seen them for the people at home, get into your local tackle shop and have a look at a Jackson rod because um, it, it's it's quality up there with some of the better, uh, and I'm talking about three to $400 brim rods. Yes. Yeah. And not just brim, because there's some yeah, heaviest pin as well. Right. But the price is a lot lower. And they're very, I guess they're very different again. They're unique. They're quite short. I mm. guess they're designed at our snag market, but still light enough that you can use it with your three pound line on the flats. So they yeah. do a little six pound rod, which is just beautiful. Six foot seven, six foot nine. Um, and the same attention to detail with their exactly. manufacturing, isn't it? Like these guys, like their lures. Exactly. Mm. They need to be seen. It's hard to explain without actually seeing it. And that's why we didn't bring the rods in, mm. trying to show you a rod on, on TV to art. Come yeah. and see the boys in the tackle stores, pick yeah. one up, have a play. Mm. They are beautiful. They'll blow you away. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. If it's facts about fishing that you want to know, then tune in, folks, because this is the show. We'll show you.